going to show you how to knock up a uh, web page with some uh, hotspots on it on uh, an image. I've already downloaded a couple of images here. I've got uh, a sort of a, an inside shot of a, of a computer chassis and I've got a, a cooling fan here. And if you look at the directory for um, uh, for that particular uh, folder, you can see, if I just have five just to check, yeah, there we are. I'm looking at it in Google at the moment. There are the uh, the, the two images. Um, so I'm going to uh, start this web page. I'm going to stick in a, a document type declaration um, at the top. Um, your website will work without this, uh, but it is good practice to make sure that your browser knows exactly what uh, what uh, type of um, HTML you're writing. Otherwise, it's going to guess. Um, so now we'll start writing our HTML. HTML, um, and we'll stick in a header. Stick in a title, T I T L E, and say we'll call it uh, My Computer. I should come up with a, a better title than that. That should do us. Let's have a look and stick a, a heading on the page and say um, Diagram Picture Thingy a Computer uh, Inside Site. And we'll give the uh, visitor simple instruction. Click on this to find out something like that. Click on bits. That should do us. And we're going to stick the image in here. Let's just uh, let me just lost my cursor. Lost my cursor. Um, I'm going to stick the image in uh, in here. We're going to stick the computer inside image right on this page. So we're going to do um, uh, image. Equals and it is called computer inside. Computer inside uh, JPEG. That's a JPEG. Make sure you get the right ending or it won't work. And um, we are going to uh, use a map and the map name. We're going to call it. Uh, don't forget the little hash there. We're going to call it. Um, Do it. Control save that, and we're going to save it in here. Let's call it oh, well, uh, home home page HTML save, and we can see the home page appeared. Let's hit a five on here. There's a home page. Let's just have a quick look and see what we've got so far. There we are. So we've got headings saying exploded diagram picture of computer in size. Click on bits to find it, and we want to put some hot spots on this thing so people can click on it, and it will uh, it will go to another page and tell us about that uh, that particular component. So let's just uh, generate the map first. Let's do um, map. Um, the name is we already called it computer map. Control C. Let's have that as the name. Name uh, that should do us. That's all we need for the map. And now we want to put the uh, the uh, some. I'm going to use circles. They're the easiest thing to do. So we'll have area um, shape equals uh, circle. That's pretty good. And you want the coordinates. What? And here is the neat trick. Um, all we need to do to find the coordinates of uh, bits of this uh, this image is we just want to go grab that computer inside and open it in Paint. So if I open with and open it in Paint, there's the uh, the image. I'm going to have to keep sliding this in and out of the way. If I uh, oh just put it there, I think you can see that it's uh, it's in Paint. Now the nice thing about Paint is wherever you move your cursor down here this this just where it's I've moved my cursor off the picture now but just down here are the coordinates of the bit that we're pointing to so uh, I want the fan at the moment it looks like coordinates of about 310 across and 350 down are the coordinates we want so we're going to type in here 310 350 for the center of the circle and we're going to give it a diameter we'll try 20 that might be a bit too small uh, we'll try 20 um, and uh, we'll give us some alt text to pop up there. We'll say uh, fan thingy will pop up when they hover their cursor off that particular uh, spot. Um, and we then want to go to the web page um, that they'll click on. Uh, sorry, we want to go to a web page. When they click on it, it'll go to that actual web page. So you want the hypertext reference for this web page, which we haven't written yet. And we're going to call this called fan.html. We've still got to write that uh, particular web page. 
but let's just test what we've got so far. Let's just have a, make this a bit bigger so you can see what's going on here. Um, I have written, uh, I've got a map, and I've got uh, one coordinate in the map. I'm using a circle shape which has got, which is 310 across, 350 down, a radius is 20. When you hover over it, it's going to say it's a fan thingy, and when they click on it, it'll go to a web page called fan.html, which we haven't written yet. We're going to write that shortly. Control save that. Let's go to the browser. F5 that. Now, if I've done this right, when I over over the centre of that circle, it should turn into a hand. There we are, it's turned into a hand. Now, it's gonna, if I click on that, it's going to look for a web page called fan.html, which isn't there. I'm going to write that next. Um, just before I do that, I notice that um, the circle's a bit small. Maybe we could make that other circle a bit bigger. Let's just make that, I don't know, 70. We don't really so big you start going over uh, other components. But let's have a look at that, F5. So now, that's a bit bigger, isn't it? When we hover, it should say something like fan thingy or whatever. Um, let's now write um, the web page called fan.html. So, in fact, I'm just going to change the file, save as. I'm going to use exactly the same layout as home page, but I'm just going to call it fan.html. Let me just move, close that down for a second, paint. I'm not using that again. And you'll see another page is now going to appear in this bit called fan.html. There's the page called fan.html, but it's, it's identical to the home page, so we don't want that. What we want to do is now say, this is going to be called, the title is going to be um, a CPU fan is going to be the title, and um, we'll change this text to say, fan thing. You're, going to be, you're obviously going to put a far more professional heading than I've done there, and this is going to say, um, this is a CPU fan. Um, and it's a lot smaller than a uh, power supply fan. Um, so we'll take longer to dry your hair. Um, the metal grid. do and what we'll do is uh, we don't need a map on this so I can just delete that um, the image source is not going to use a map delete that and all I do now is change this to uh, fan and I think I've got a CPU cooling fan and it's a gif so it'll say CPU and that's uh, dot GIF uh, I've left a tag in the middle of nowhere there Control save. Now let's have a look at our website. F5, we've got um, the, the home page says My Computer Innards, gives us a heading here, gives us an instruction. There's the blow up of the, uh, the picture. And if I click on fan, hopefully it will go to uh, the second page. Big picky of a, a fan thing. There's my text. The, uh, the, the image is broken. Let's just have a look and see what I've done wrong there. CPU cooling. Oh, that's a dash and that's an underscore. So if we go back here, that's a dash, that's an underscore. Don't know why I named it like that back here as that fixed it there we are simple as that I suppose if we were being really flash we'll give them a, a link back to the uh, an anchor tag back to the home page um, which is called uh, home page uh, h o m e p page dot h t m l and close that tag and say um, to get back Let's have a look at this. Five, and we've got a nice link somewhere there. Format it a bit better to get back to the home page. And that's exactly how you produce a uh, a uh, clickable uh, a clickable uh, image.